everybody. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my new intro. Um, so my first intro was a bit, <laughs> a bit obnoxious with my face sort of sliding around the screen. Um, so I wanted something a bit more simple and I also added my social media pages to the intro. So you see I have an Instagram and a Twitter. Um, so you guys can definitely um, follow me there or if you ever need to DM me for anything, you can certainly do it on the social media. Um, so it's just a bit more simple. I like it a lot better. I animated it myself. Um, so I hope you like it. And let's get started. Um, so I am back with another video. So this one is going to be exclusively about shapewear. In particular, shapewear when it comes to being fat or big, whatever you want to call it. Um, so this is my personal collection of shapewear. So it's not a whole lot, but I've had like some of these shapewear pieces for over 10 years. Like I've had some since college. I don't think I had shapewear in high school, but I definitely know some of these are from college. Um, I have a, a one that's recent that I want to try on. So basically, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with shapewear. I remember a friend of mine telling me once that for big people, shapewear doesn't actually shape or slim you. It just makes you look pregnant. <laughs> um, so what she meant was that it tends to more round you out so any sort of like lumps and bumps on your stomach which is primarily where the shapewear um is it smooths that out and it sort of rounds it but it doesn't hold it in as it would do for like a skinny person or a person who maybe just has a little bit of a stomach um so it does make you look a bit pregnant but it does make it easier to um wear certain things so you don't see like lumps and sort of different rows showing under your clothing because i i wasn't blessed with the shape where you're big and you have kind of a small stomach and then you just have mostly hips and butt i don't have that i have huge arms and my stomach also i don't know how to describe it it's that double stomach thing that you see with fat people where you have a stomach and then there's like another stomach hanging under it I wasn't looking at anything but <laughs> um so shapewear is pretty much the same for me it just rounds it out it makes the clothes look a little bit better um but it does make the stomach it's already big but it kind of makes it look higher up and big if that makes sense almost like you're pregnant but it does smooth some of the lumps and bumps and make your clothes look slightly better um but it still does round you out i know for me it makes it more difficult for me to wear jeans like i barely wear jeans i probably haven't worn jeans regularly since my first sort of job out of college which was at um a call center so um jeans were, wasn't really on the dress code like it was like business casual or professional so it was mostly like dresses and um like for me i used to wear like maxi dresses and long skirts if I did wear pants, they were sort of the professional slacks, but I had found some stretch kind. So, and I had gained a good amount of weight at that job since it was sitting down all day. And I wasn't like catching the bus like I was every day in college and walking around campus. So, um, that's what happened to my jeans. And I haven't been able to get back to the size I was before. I've done some yo-yoing since, but jeans, I have a couple pair, but I usually don't wear them. Um, but let me see here. Let me go through the shapewear here. And I have maybe about six or seven pieces, including the one piece I just got. Um, so this is the first piece of shapewear. Now this I've had forever. This might even be, I want to say my first or second piece I ever bought. As you can see, it's in rough shape. <laughs> see the sides. <laughs> So it has, um, let me see, like holes in it and um, coming apart. And I do still wear this occasionally because it does still have a lot of um, elasticity. So it does hold in better than some of the even newer ones that I have. But yeah, it's, it's been through some things. And look at the seat part. <laughs> Just <laughs> a disaster. <laughs> So this is one of my OG pieces. And this is actually, I'm pretty sure, yeah, this is a real spank in the size F. 
and I'll see if I can find the spank chart to put in the video so you can see what each chart or what each letter on the chart means. So this is an F and this is a real spank. Usually um, when I was buying spanks, I would get them from, I want to say, where was I getting my spanks from? Catherine's. Catherine's had spanks. And I think um, we used to have an Ashley Stewart's in our mall. I think they used to have Spanx too. And I might've got a, a couple pieces from there too. But yeah, this is one of my first Spanx pieces right here. Poor baby, it's been through a lot. This is definitely one I had in college. Um, this is another Spanx piece. I'm pretty sure I've had it for a while because the label has worn out, but it does say, can you see it? The A N X. This is a Spanx piece too. It looks like this is a G. No, E, C. I don't know. It's definitely not an F. It looks like a round letter. You can't see it because it's all worn out, but it looks like a round letter. But this one's pretty much intact. You can see some of the shredding kind of coming off right here. Um, but it doesn't, for the most part, have too many holes, at least not on the bodice part. Um, the bottom part, of course, has some damage. I think it has to be, be sewed back here once or twice. So here's the lining, and the inside is sort of coming apart as well but for the most part it's in decent shape especially compared to that first one okay and this this is one of my most recent um spanks well i don't think this is actually a spank let me see oh it is yeah so this is a actual spank let me find the tag here it is see and this is just in a 3X. And this material, um, it's different than these. These two are more like a cloth cottony material. Whereas this one is like a actual spandex, like a cloth spandex. And it has a lot of elasticity, but it also sucks in as well so if i would have to say one that gave me probably the most spank like results as far as the bottom spanks it would probably be this one and it is newer but it does have some damage right here on the side and this is just for me pulling it up and of course if i have nails on i remember the first time it broke i had nails on and i was putting them on and the nails went right through while i was pulling them up I was so upset. So I try to stay away from this area too much. Let me see here. And you see sort of the rouging part right there. It's hard to see on camera. See it? Let me see. Okay, now this one right here, this is one I've had since college too. It's like a top. It's not a spank, but it's like a top piece. Can you see it? See, it has um, two like sleeves that you have your um, arms in, and then it's like this bodice part here. So it's like a tank top, a shapewear tank top. See it? And this material I like a lot because it's like the soft satiny material, so it makes it easier to not only put on, but um, when you're putting your clothes on. Of course, you don't have any issues putting tops on, but when you're putting your clothes on, or if you are wearing pants or jeans, because this goes down quite a bit, like under uh, my stomach. So when you're putting pants on, it comes up very smoothly. What's the brand? This is in a 4X from, the brand Flexies by Maiden Form. And a 4X. And I've definitely had this since college. 
and I do I used to at some point in college I would wear this and that torn up spanks together I would put this on first and then pull the spank up over this so I'd be doubly held in and I used to just be so just uncomfortable but you couldn't really tell me anything in college like my wardrobe was totally different like I was the shit no one was telling me I wasn't <laughs> um but yeah I should just be so with all this um shaper on this is a good piece um this one now this is supposed to be a shapewear piece but it sort of fits now just as regular underwear but this is supposed to be like a um, bottom shapewear or like underwear shapewear. I know they look like regular underwear, but they were advertised as shapewear. Um, so I got a pair and this is supposed to be um, like a trimming look or band. It looks like this is um, from Catherine's. It's a 3X, I think it says, body con or something like that but yeah you can see the Catherine's label but this is supposed to be some sort of like bottom um like hold in shapewear underwear um but they really they just fit like regular underwear so i don't know if you can call them shapewear let me see okay this piece i don't know how long i've had it but it's identical to the other piece just like it see but it doesn't have so this one's newer because if you can see it is torn here see it's supposed to be let me unroll it so it's supposed to be like this but it's torn see that so but it is newer because you can see there's not as much besides the big tear <laughs> there's not as much um wear and tear on it see still looks in pretty good condition besides that let me see and this is a spank in the size g so these are technically bigger than the other ones i think but i, I like i said i'll put the chart in this is a g and i tried all this shaper on um just to have the b-roll in the video that you see uh, this one i've had since college as well it's another tank top shapewear see but the straps are thinner and the material is totally different see you see see that root see that material how it has the striations and then there's like this lint spot at the back here um, but this one um it's not my favorite it's pretty difficult to put on because these small straps get tangled and you have to unroll it and all that but this one um it makes your chest sit up because the, the um, shaper never sit up like this they're always pulled way down and the straps are up here just so it can cover my stomach because my stomach does hang low so it can't sit up like this um but it does help your boobs sort of come in like so <laughs> come in and it did a good job of that in college too and i would sometimes double this one up too but i'd be super uncomfortable in this one and the other spank bottom um the label has completely rubbed off of this i don't think this is actually a spank product let's see one two I can kind of make out it saying 2x uh so xxl so this is a 2x but i can't see a brand or name on here mm. but i don't think this is an actual spanx product though um this is probably my absolute favorite piece um it doesn't hold anything in if anything it fits or goes on more like an underwear 
but it doesn't hold anything in. Um, if anything, it just makes it easier to put on clothes and um, it does smooth out. It is that satiny material, so it's easier to put on. It's easier for your clothes to sort of flow over. Um, I probably wear this, well, definitely not probably. I wear this the most, like usually if I'm going somewhere. This is probably the one I'm gonna wear, especially if it's somewhere where I wanna be comfortable. And it does have no holes in it, just because this usually stretchy satiny material is pretty durable, so there are no holes in it, but you can see a bit of wear right here. See how it's coming off? And you see the fraying in the back? Let me see. And this is the seat. Let's see, this is just thread, yeah. So it's just kind of coming apart a bit. Um, but no holes though. So it's still holding up pretty good. What brand is this? I don't think it's a Spank. Okay, this is just Catherine, Catherine brand. And this is actually a, is that a five or six? I think that's a six X in the Catherine's brand. You can see that? I think that's a six. So 6X, and it's never really held anything in. Um, it's always just been a pretty comfortable fit, but not really a shaping or holding fit, but I really do like this one. I'm gonna see if I can find another one, one of these days. And this is my last one. Um, I'm very disappointed. I ordered this from a company called Shape She. I saw it on social media and the lady who was demonstrating she had sort of a larger stomach but it looked like she had maybe lost a lot of weight um and it was sort of hanging so she was putting it on and she was buckling it up to hold the stomach in and she looked nice and shaped and i was like "Ooh, let me try that i've had it for a couple weeks um i hadn't tried it on until today and i'm glad i did because it doesn't like literally i could not get uh, my legs or the very top of my legs going up to my butt i couldn't get it in here and it's not a stretchy material at all like, look at this <laughs> it's not stretchy at all now this is supposed to be shapewear now how am i supposed to get into it if it doesn't stretch or barely stretches, I should say. And it has like lace, um, little short part here. And there's a butt part that's sort of satiny, but I couldn't even get it up this far. I started hearing crack, crack, crack. Like it was tearing and I was like, no, I'm gonna have to try to send this back. This was, I believe $41 and I couldn't even get it on. And this is in a six X. But I'm pretty sure it was, yeah, made in China. So any experience from China that I've had, everything runs small. Because clearly those are like EFG, whatever they are. Um, and they fit. And this one does not. So, jeez. Just close it back up here. And it has these sort of bra-like links right here that you pull back together. I was so excited about trying this and it just dashed my hopes when it didn't fit. So I'm gonna have to see what the return process is because I don't wanna be out 40 bucks for something that I can't fit and never got it really a chance to wear and see how it worked. <sighs> so definitely disappointed, but I'll keep you posted on the refund processes. There is one because I've had some shenanigans with stuff from China before, not really being able to return it and things like that. So we'll see. Disappointed in this, but these are my old trustees, and they've been with some of them I've been with for many, many, many years. Um, I think I've had all these at least three or four years. So I don't think I've gotten anything new um, in the last couple years. So these are my babies. This is a disappointment. 
and thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate um any views comments subscriptions because i still am a super small channel but i appreciate all of you who have subscribed and who watched the videos and i hope you enjoyed this one um i do have social media um so it's on like the little front of my new intro that i talked about um, so I dropped my Instagram there that I made and I have a Twitter as well. So if you ever want to get in contact with me for any reason, um, definitely use those and DM me. There we go. And again, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I'll see you again soon. Bye.